Thank you. On a cold night at the foot of the Rockies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Denver Broncos. from Denver. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On first down, Dobbs to throw. Oh, the hands of oh, Jordan Addison. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. On first and 10, Dobbs. Almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Leaf no doubt on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. First carry now for Alexander Madison. Oh, He's across midfield and down to the 49. First and 10 now in Denver territory at the 49 yard line. Throwing here, Dobbs. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Eluding oh. the pressure right. And he'll it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. We knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. The 39 here for the first. This is third down. Back to throw Jones. He's going to go for a big play down field. And that will be incomplete. Now they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. They'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night, and it's a good one. And this play will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to win. Right at the 24 yard line is where they'll spot it. Well, the Broncos' offense gets set to go to work, and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 24. A man who was lost for the year in week four last season is Devontae Williams. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Williams. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. It led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Dropping 
his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On fourth down, it's Riley Dixon on now to kick it away for Denver. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Uh, uh. 49 yard punt, five on the return. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by two, a minute 51 on the clock. Needing at least 40 yards, you'd have to think, to have a shot. Dobbs. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Now Dobbs. He's going to let it fly. up now this is second and long he's back to throw pass complete it's Hawkinson and the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down for an open receiver. The defense circling now. Fourth down and seven. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw. Deep down field. It's incomplete. They did not convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. And Denver getting set to take the field. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured. They They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And the kick is good. So you really have this one of this game every snap for my partner Charles Davis and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Denver.